Anders Kennedy, a YouTuber who covers drama regarding the YouTube world, which, let's be real, it's mostly like the beauty YouTubers, is now facing a ton of backlash for his false claims about Shane Dawson. It seems now Dawson may even be taking legal action against Kennedy, who has since deleted all of his videos regarding the Shane situation. It seems this story just keeps going from bad to worse, but I will say this time around, surprisingly, Shane isn't the one facing the backlash. Insider was the first to break the story, and when I tell you things are about to get messy, well, let's just say I hope you guys have your bibs on, because it's about to get buck wild. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Inform Overload. I'm your host for today, Jared Bronstein. And before we start today's video, just wanted to remind you guys of a fun channel I'm also on called Top 10 Central. Come say hi, have a laugh or two, and let us know in the comments that Jared sent you. It won't make any of a difference, like it, at all, it does not make a difference, but you know, it does give me like some bragging rights just to be like, hey guys. My, you know, my channel's the best. That's all I'm trying to say. Also guys, we got some comment replies to wrap this one up, but for now, let's jump right into it. So it seems Kennedy was just looking for those good old views when he tweeted that he would be sending some of Dawson's old problematic videos to the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. Insider who first broke the story confirmed with Kennedy that he did indeed send the content to the police department. No lie there. Where he really messed up was when he posted a YouTube video claiming that there is now an investigation into Shane's past. Since receiving all the backlash he's received, Kennedy has taken down all the videos regarding the alleged investigation. Investigation. But according to Insider, in one of the videos which has since been deleted, there was an audio recording between Kennedy and Sergeant Dave Payne in which Sergeant Payne is heard saying, I quote, We don't have enough to call it a crime, but there's a lot of things we have to look through first, and we also need victims. At one point, he also refers to, I quote, a suspicious circumstance investigation. Now here's where things get really fun. There is no investigation into Dawson, as per Insider, and the Sheriff's Department claims any other statements were misinformation. Kennedy has since clarified that he never said it was a criminal investigation. Although some eagle-eyed fans were quick to point out, Kennedy changed the title of his video, which originally read, LA Sheriff's Department officially opens investigation on Shane Dawson, survivors urge to come forward. He actually only left out one word when he changed the title, officially. In the now deleted video, Kennedy also apparently edited himself out saying officially after receiving backlash from those who were able to watch the video before it was re-edited. Now aside from lying about Dawson being investigated by the authorities, he also tried to make a quick buck and this just made things go from bad to worse. Kennedy also promoted his subscription based premium channel, which according to Kennedy would give subscribers exclusive access to information from the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department and I quote, things that might not become public on social media and on YouTube. Aside from all this, Kennedy also claimed that the LA Sheriff's Department were encouraging victims and survivors of Dawson to come forward and even told them to reach out to him directly so he could get them in contact with the right authorities. Now as we know Shane's faced a good amount of backlash and because of this he's distanced himself from social media, not posted on Twitter since late June. However as per Insider, Dawson's legal team said, I quote, we're considering all options and we will take appropriate action against Mr. Kennedy to protect and enforce our clients rights. And since receiving all the backlash, as previously mentioned, Kennedy has deleted all the videos regarding his so-called investigation into Shane. His most recent video was titled Update on my Shane Dawson Report. The video itself is 15 seconds long and all he says is, I quote, Hi everyone, I have an update regarding my report on Shane Dawson. According to an article posted on Insider.com today, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department just confirmed to Insider that there is no investigation into Dawson. Thank you so much for watching. Kennedy also posted a still from the video and made the caption the same thing as what was said in the video, along with a link to said video on his Instagram page. Since receiving the backlash, Kennedy has somewhat changed what he's now posted on social media, with his last four Instagram posts being images of designs and colors. Now, as previously mentioned, he's already deleted all the videos and claims aside from the immense backlash he's continued receiving, he's also received death threats. As you can imagine regarding his credibility, well, people aren't so sure they can go to Kennedy moving forward and trust him as a genuine newsworthy source. And given the fact that he deleted all the videos and made a 16 second video, which was clearly him literally just recording and reading off of something, well it makes me believe it was likely due to legal reasons. I don't think much else will come from this, as Dawson likely threatened to sue Kennedy for defamation, which was enough for Kennedy to backtrack and hope this just blows over. But I will say, I cannot officially say that there is any kind of lawsuit. This is my opinion, and I am just assuming that is what happened, just to clarify. Now as always, guys, I love to hear from you, so please drop your thoughts on this video down below and the entire situation. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. Is KJ Appa okay? Kevin said, I want to know where I could find roles that Jared has acted in, please. Well, I will say I got a new agent back in like June and then I cut my hair. When I first worked here a couple years ago, I used to be like down to my shoulders and I had a man bun and that whole thing and then I was like, that's not me. So I cut off all my hair and I kind of changed my look up. I actually started booking some roles. I got like a commercial for Google, got a commercial for 7-Eleven, which you guys could find on YouTube or even on my Instagram, I think. I'm also in a TV show, which yeah, I, like very small part. I'm not sure when the episode's coming out, but I'll be sure to let you guys know. And hopefully moving forward, you know, this whole pandemic kind of screwed up the industry, but hey, we got some more auditions coming up, so hopefully being uh, you know one of those little vampire shows that you guys like or something. I don't know. 
<laughs> Freya S said the guy is literally being himself. People need to realize that actors don't always act the same as the character they play. That's actually true both ways though, because if you play a villain, people just think you're a bad person when they see you on the street and they're like, I hate you. And you're like, ah, I appreciate that because that means I'm a good actor, but that's not actually who I am. So yeah, I guess you could just say double standard. Because also, you see somebody that you like on TV and you think, you know, that's who they are, similar to Archie here. That's not him. He's, a, he's an actor. And people also need to think about this, you know, when you see an actor in public, don't expect them to treat you the way the character would, is all I'm gonna say. Kevin Eugene said he's just living his best life. Hey, that makes two of us. I'm trying. It's a little tough, but I'm trying. You know, we all try to live our best lives. Can't complain. Look, I get to do what I love every day at work, so who am I to complain, you know? Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay